so we are back this is a product that I get asked about on, on, out of all my videos in all the comments probably the, the product that I use that I get asked about the most is what bipod is that, that you're using um, and for the most part most of the, bi the bipod that I use in most of my videos up to this point has been this one this is the leapers UTG Recon 360. Now I actually just picked up a bipod that I've been wanting for many years. Um, you guys will be starting to see it more and more throughout my videos. Um, but the bipod that I have typically done most of the shooting that you guys have seen has been this. Um, it's not a super expensive bipod uh, but it has a lot of good features for the type of shooting that I typically do. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So this is the Recon 360 by UTG under the gun um, and I'm not sure exactly if it's Leapers UTG or if it's just UTG but if you google UTG if you google the UTG Recon 360 you will be able to find this so let's go over some of the features so as far as adjustability goes this thing has three positions of different points to put the legs in so you can put it in three different positions you can lean it at a 45 degree forward straight up and down or a 45 degree back the legs have four positions that the legs lock into um, overall height of the legs is they go they go from six point they go from 6.65 inches to 9.35 inches so you've got a little bit over or a little bit less than three inches total adjustment and the total height adjustment that that goes from is from the base of the bipod 6.62 inches to 9.14 inches so enough enough adjustment in everything to really be able to get any height that you're pretty much going to need for most of the type of prone long range shooting especially the type of shooting that I do um, and one other really good thing about how these legs adjust you have all four positions but then on top of that you have the ability to lock it in with this nut on the front you have the ability to lock this bipod into any in between anywhere in between any of those four positions so if the ground is unlevel and you really need to fine-tune it to make sure your bubble is straight you have the ability to do that so there's a lot of good features in just the adjustability of the legs in this bipod this thing weighs 12.2 ounces now this is actually both of the ones that I have are the older version I actually just came out with a newer version um, that hasn't that is not is fairly new um, and the only difference that I've seen in the newer version and the older version I actually real this is something that I have kind of been one of the chief complaints that I have had about this bipod is there's no way to on the fly lock in your position well on the new bipod they have a lever you can't you can lock in your position but you have to use a screwdriver and it's something that you're not going to do in the field well the new bipod they have fixed that they have put a lever here on the locking screw that you can turn it all the way to lock it in or halfway in between to just tighten it up and give give it some stiffness so that's one thing they fixed with the new version there's a little bit of cost difference between the new version and the old version you can still find plenty of the old versions around um, both the ones that I have are the old version and I've been using them with great success for quite a while uh, this thing rotates 360 degrees so you are you have the ability um, I don't know why you would ever need to do that but you have the ability to I have this thing locked down pretty tight that's why it's kind of tough to spin but you have the ability to rotate this thing in any direction that you would need to um, so depending on the type of terrain you're shooting off of depending on the direction you need to pan this can do all of those things the feet of this bipod actually like the the feet of these this bipod the rubber feet on this probably more than any other bipod I've ever used that the 
it's really well designed. They've got some nice knurling on there. The rubber that it's made of is rubber that will pretty much stick to almost anything. You have no problem loading the bipod on just about any surface. Even this smooth table here with nothing to rub, to run the bipod up against, I've been able to load the bipod with success. So that is another big, big advantage of this is the feet um, really give you the ability to build up some traction on pretty much any surface. So the tilt of this, it has just like most bipods nowadays, there is at least some tilt. This has 15 degrees of tilt in either direction, which is a big plus. Obviously, if you're depending on, once again, depending on what surface you're shooting off of, depending on the terrain, um, you may need to tilt one way or the other to make sure your bipod is or make sure your bubble is level um, so that you are in the same position when you let loose that shot every time and this gives you plenty of ability to do that so total tilt 30 degrees 15 degrees in either direction one of my favorite things about this bipod is the preload on this because i do typically prone shooting um, this has the ability so as you see, this bipod just sitting here is all the way forward. Now, one of the things that this, this has some advantages and some disadvantages in its preload of the bipod. So you can preload the bipod all the way forward and it has just like it has 15 degrees of tilt, it has 15 degrees in either direction um, of preload or, I don't, or the opposite direction. Um, the one thing though that you have that is kind of a disadvantage uh, to somebody who is a prone shooter who that's typically the type of shooting that you're going to do this is a big advantage because it allows you to preload plenty um, you run into a nice solid wall and when it recoils it allows it to recoil straight back um, and when you preload you lose the tilt function so there is absolutely no tilt in this once you have the bipod completely preloaded um, so if you are shooting some sort of PRS match or um, you're wanting it's you're in a position that you need to have the bi rifle pre the rifle preloaded and still be able to lean one way or the other to get everything level this does not have the ability to do that but what it does have is the ability to preload in a solid position the right let the rifle recoil straight back because of that preload it locks out all movement i don't think this is actually an intentional feature of the bipod i think this is something that has happened just because of the, of the design of it being a 360 um, and when you push all the way forward you are basically have locked yourself in a corner but you can if you're shooting prone you have plenty of time to get everything build a solid position you can preload the bipod, raise the legs, do whatever you need to do to make sure everything's level, and then you know that the rifle is going to recoil straight back along the way the rifle is preloaded. So that is one of my favorite features. That is the thing that really sold me on this bipod, and that's the reason that I bought another one, um, so that I could use, it, use these on more than one rifle. Um, I've been a big fan ever since because of the type of shooting that I do the type of shooting that you guys typically see me do is prone shooting um, this allows me to take advantage of all these features now like I said if you're doing some other type of shooting this is, may not be the bipod for you so the price point of this bipod is so this like I said these are the old versions now they make a low profile and a medium profile these are both the medium profile um, so now these are just average prices that I'm giving you. You can probably, you will be able to find these if you look and, and shop around, you'll be able to find these on sale, um, for a, probably a much lower price than this, but an average price. So for the low profile, $66 for the medium profile and the older version, $68. So not a whole lot of difference between them, just depending on what your needs are. If you don't want or need a bipod that has as much as much height as these do then you could pick the low profile and still have all the features of a bipod that allows you to really shoot prone very well the new version I do believe only comes in the medium in the 
medium style so this this height here and you, they range from 70 to 75 dollars depending on where you're shopping at so the one of the other things about this bipod that is a big advantage and one things that one of the things that drew me to this is the footprint or what i call the footprint of the bipod so as you can see there is about two and a half inches of space between these legs what that allows to happen is one of the things that you get one of the things that cause the bipod to be stable is where the where the point of the bipod meets so on, when you hook this bipod up to a rifle typically the point of that bipod this bipod meets right about in the center of the barrel and what that does is it allows that bipod to become more stable or the rifle to become more stable because when the bipod comes to a point like that and the the barrel is somewhat inside of that point it's hanging in there instead of being on top. So if, think, if you think about it, you put something on top of a triangle, it's going to be much less stable than it's going to be if you have something inside the triangle. And there are bipods like the one that I just got, that you guys will see here in the near future, um, that hang the rifle well inside the triangle. And the further you hang it inside that triangle, the more stable it is. But this does allow you the ability to be more stable because that triangle comes to a point pretty much in the center of the barrel so that is another thing that really sold me on this um, and for such a low cost point I think this is a very overlooked bipod especially for guys that are doing prone prone shooting it is a tactical style bipod but if you are in the market for a tactical bipod and shooting prone typically or most of your shooting or all of your shooting is done from the prone this is a great bipod um, for those purposes. So a couple of disadvantages of this bipod besides the fact that it locks out when you preload the bipod and if that's not something you're looking for, like I said, this is not going to be a bipod, more than likely a bipod that somebody that shoots PRS that needs to quickly adjust things, um, change their tilt on the fly, that, this is not that bipod. Um, another thing, and I don't know if they fixed this in the new design, but in the older designs, and the slots where the legs lock into place, if you preload hard enough, you will start to strip those out. So I have had a couple of times that I've preloaded this bipod, and it has came out of position and allowed me to lose everything and had to reposition everything and rebuild my position because the legs on this had started to strip out. Now what I did was flip it around the other way and I have not had that problem again because now I'm preloading on the opposite side but eventually if you use it enough it will happen I'm sure in every direction. So that is a big disadvantage um, to this bipod. I think it's just part of this material not being I don't know what this is exactly made of but I, I do believe aluminum and I just, it's just not a extremely solid material for the amount of preload that this bipod allows you to accomplish. So to attach this bipod, this bipod only comes with a with the ability to attach to a Picatinny rail, but it does come. Um, every one of these comes with an attachment that attaches to a sling swivel or your sling stud. Um, so you have the ability to. If you do not have, if you, all you have is a sling stud and you're wanting to run this bipod, each one of these bipods comes with an attachment that you can hook to your sling stud and attach a very short section of pick rail to your, to your rifle, which allows you to hook the bipod to it. So even if you do not have Picatinny rail on your bipod or on your rifle, you can still hook, hook to this bipod hook this to your rifle um, with the attachment that comes with the bipod so this is like I said this is something I've been asked about probably more than any other product that I use is what is that bipod so now you guys know this is the UTG recon 360 um, for the type of shooting I've, I do for the price point that you get this at I do believe it is one of the best bipods for prone style shooting. Now, I've seen some other reviews on this um, that did not 
put it in a favorable light, but all of those people that were reviewing this, their their problems came because they were trying to do PRS type shooting, which is not typically the type of shooting that I am into. So, if you are a prone shooter like me, you are you have plenty of time to build your position. You may want to check out the Recon 360, UTG Recon 360. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this was helpful. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out.